Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 8.1 from Sadiku book. So the question is, for the circuit in figure 8.62, find A, B, and C. Okay, let's see what can we do from here. So the first thing that we need to find out is I0 plus and V0 plus. So this is the initial state of the circuit. So we need to do analysis at T at less than zero okay at t less than zero the circuit is already in steady state and this switch here is in closed state so we still have that 12 volt voltage source okay that is our 12 volt and then what else can we get from here we get this 6 ohm resistor so resistor cannot store energy so it still be there and we have 6 ohm and inductor because we are already in steady state the inductor become short circuit okay so we have short circuit here and then what next we have that 4 ohm resistor this is the 6 ohm and that 4 ohm resistor is like this but then we have a capacitor here but in steady state it becomes open circuit so our circuit becomes like this and what is i i is the current that pass through this 6 ohm resistor so this is i and the v is the voltage across here so this is our 4 ohm resistor okay so our task is to find out this i and that v here Okay, now I can be solved using Ohm's law. So I, this is at zero minus. Remember that this is t less than zero. So we can just use Ohm's law here. So I will have twelve minus zero divided by six. So I will have two ampere. Ampere. And remember that the current in inductor cannot change instantaneously. So I0 minus is equal to I0 plus. Therefore, I0 plus is equal to 2 ampere. Oh, that is not O. Why I got O? 2 ampere and this is our first answer i will have i0 plus is 2 ampere and then for this v because there is no current that pass through this branch this will be still the same as the voltage source here so we will have v0 plus i mean 0 minus is equal to 12 volt 12 volt but then remember that I, I mean, the voltage in capacitor cannot change instantaneously. So V0 minus will equal to V0 plus. And then that means that V0 plus is equal to 12 volt. <coughs> Okay, and this is the two answer for question A. Okay, let's save I0 plus and V0 plus and let's move on to question B. Okay, now let's move on to question B. We are asked for DI over DT at T is equal to 0 plus and DV over DT from the time 0 plus. Okay, maybe let's see the circuit, the situation at that point here. So we will have that. 12 volt is gone yeah it's gone because this switch is open so now we only have this resistor here 6 ohm but then we still have energy that is stored in the inductor so we still have this intact so i will have two henry and then what else I get that 4 ohm and then 
this is 0 0.4 para 0 0.4 Okay, and let's see what the situation is like here. So this is the current here. This is I0 plus, right? And I0 plus from the equation A, we know that that is 2 ampere. Okay, and then what else? This V here. So I will have V0 plus. And... This from question A, we know that this is 12 volt. Okay, and this is our situation at T is equal to 0 plus. So the switch is just open. Let's do analysis on this one. I want to do KVL at this circuit. So I want to look like this here so this is actually the same as i0 plus right so let's do that uh so we do cas vl yeah kvl at loop i okay kvl said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero okay let's start from this inductor here Remember, the voltage is L di dt. So, the L is to Henry. So, I will have 2. And then di dt. At what time? At 0 plus, right? And then, let's move on to this capacitor. We know the voltage here. But the polarity is negative to positive. So, the current is flowing from negative polarity to positive polarity. So, the sign will be negative. So, I will have minus 12 volt. And then we will have plus for I, for I, I0 plus, right? And then one more component, this 6 ohm resistor. So I will have 6 I0 plus. All of that will equal to 0. So I will have 2 Ti dt 0 plus, then minus 12. Okay, for times I0 plus, that will be, I0 plus is 2, so 4 times 2 is 8, and then plus 6 times 2 is 12, so I will have 12, and all of that will equal to 0. This 12 will cancel each other, and so I will have 2 di dt, 0 plus, and let's isolate this here, so I will have minus 8 on the right hand side. So we will have di dt at 0 plus is equal to minus 4. Minus 4 and the unit di, di is in ampere and dt is in second. So this is the, the one that asked by the equation. We still have one more variables to find out which is dv0 over dt. Okay. Maybe let's erase this because I need some space here. Okay, now let's see at our capacitor. Remember that I is equal to C dV over dT when this is 0 plus. But then this is the current that flowing from positive to negative polarity. But we know that I0 flowing from negative to positive. So we will have the sign will be minus. So I will have 0 plus here. <coughs> okay, now let's plug that in. Remember that I0 plus is 2 ampere. So I will have minus 2. And then the capacitor is 0 0.4. So I will have dV over dT 0 plus. Okay, so I'll have dV over dT 0 plus. That will equal to minus 2 divided by 0 0.4. Or this means that 20 divided by 0, 4, 20 divided by 4, that will be minus 5. Minus 5. Minus 5. And the unit will be dV, will be 4. And then dt will be second. 
So we will have this and we have done question B. Okay, now let's move on to question C. Okay, let's erase the code first. Okay, now let's see the question C. Then this means that we have i infinity and v infinity. So that will be at t is equal to infinity or at steady state. At steady state, the inductor becomes short circuit. So I will have this 6 ohm here. And there, that 4 ohm, the capacitor becomes open circuit. So I will have 4 ohm there. And this is the V, V infinity. And this is the I infinity. Okay. And because there is no sources here, I infinity will equal to zero, zero ampere. And then V infinity, again, because there is no source in this circuit, that also zero volt. And I think that's all for this problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.